Hi folks, it's Jim again, and I'm continuing some work on my Vortec heads. Today I'm doing hand lapping of the valves, and I was just going to show you a couple things that I'm learning as I go, so that when you're doing this, you can watch out for it too. So I've done a few of these already, and what I wanted to point out is wear patterns, or the, the grind pattern, if you will, on the... Uh, seat and the valve itself. I went to local auto parts store and I got the hand lapping valve tool and the valve grinding compound. Um, now I started out doing most of these by hand and it's kind of slow going and I did some checking and the little plunger here will actually just slide right off the knob here and a little 3 8 extension fits in here pretty snug. And then I connected that to my little drill here. I've got an adapter to grab onto the uh, 3 8 extension there. And what I'm doing, just to kind of go over some things that I've learned as I've been doing this, I have all my valves here ordered in the way that I took them out so that they're all matched to each valve, or sorry, each port. And this is my driver's side head. This is the front of the head. The exhaust ports are on this side. So this is the front of the passenger side. I think I said driver, sorry. But anyway, front of the passenger side. And then over here, I've got front passenger. And I just started working my way down with the valves. Now, here's how a set looks that's been ground on. You can see that sort of dull finish right there. That's one that I've completed already. And here is the correlating valve. Let's see if I can get this into focus. So this one, I'm, I'm noticing that the exhaust valves have a little bit more, come on, they're having a, a, a little bit more needed done to them. You can see there's a little bit of pitting in there that I didn't get all the way out. And this could all be fixed. If I took it to a machine shop and had them do a three angle or five angle valve job, all this would be perfect and nice and a great seal. But since I'm working on a budget here, this is something that it takes me a little longer and it may not be as good as what a machine shop will do, but it's, it's good enough for working on a budget. And all I'm really looking for is just to make sure that the valves get a good seal against the seat. So, normally I grab the correlating valve to the port and you wanna be really careful with the uh, valve compound here because it is abrasive. So you don't wanna get it on the stem. You gotta be very careful of that. So I clean all these off and then what I do is I'll just take some motor oil, I put it on a rag here, and I wipe it down on the stem. And I make sure that the, the guide in there is cleaned out of any debris. And then I'll take the valve lapping compound, and I'll just put a little, little dot on my finger, and I smear it around on the back of the valve. You can see this. I've been grinding with this one, but I wanted to show you what it where you should apply it. And then you can also tell by looking at this one where the dull finish is. So it's just, it's grinding that one surface. It doesn't do all three angles or even there on the edge. It's just the one mating surface to the valve seat. So anyway, be very careful with the valve grinding compound. You don't want to get it on the stem here. Make sure it's just on the back of the valve where it touches the seat. And then, you slide it into your valve, or into the valve guide, and so like this one is for this guy right here. So you just slide it in by hand, and then you would take, like if you're just going to do this by hand, then you take your hand lapping tool, press this suction cup down on there nice and tight, and then you'll use both hands to rub run this back and forth like you're trying to start a fire. And then you, you'll you pull it out and you'll rotate it a little extra and then back and forth, back and forth, 
pull it out, rotate it a little back and forth, back and forth. That's just to make sure that you rotate the valve completely in the seat because as the engine's running, these may turn. So you want a nice concentric, even seat all the way around. You don't want to just run it back and forth in one position because that could get you uneven uh, wear pattern. And if as the valve rotates, you might have a higher low spot. So that's why you want to rotate it back and forth. Like I said, I got lazy though and I started using this. And I'll just run it forward for a bit and, and pop. They call it popping the valve. All you're doing is you're just lifting it off the seat just so that you can get that compound back onto the, the grinding surface there. So one of the things that I found while I was working on this, because I'll grind on it for a minute or two, then I'll take it off and I'll clean the seat. And I'll clean the valve too, just kind of check it out here. But if you notice, most of these have a nice even finish all the way around the seat. Now this guy, see if I can get it into focus there. See that one shiny section up there in the top right and how the rest of it has got that nice dull finish? That's a low spot. That's actually what prompted me to switch to the drill because this was going to take me a long time to work down with the just by hand. But if, in case you didn't, didn't notice, it's, it's right up here in the corner, right below the spark plug. That's, it's got a shinier finish than the rest. You can kind of see how it's starting to work down to it, but not quite. And then you can kind of see how it transitions into that dull finish as you go up or down. You want to get rid of that because technically that's going to be a leak. Technically that's going to be an area that isn't fully seating. And you could have, as the cylinder is building pressure, that could push back or, or leak out. And then you're going to have a loss of compression. And I'm going to try and set my camera here and see if I can't give you a little demo real quick of what I'm talking about. So again, I got compound on the back of this guy. I'm going to add just a little bit more. Like I said, just a little dab. You just need enough to cover the back of the valve. But I'll just try and give a even smear all across the back of the valve. And it'll disperse as you start rotating it in there. But anyway, and I've already got this one lubed with oil in case you're wondering. So then I'm going to set that in there. And on the suction cup here, I'll take just a, a dab of oil on my finger and then smear it on here just so that it gets a good sealing surface to the, to the valve. And I'll just set it on there. And then I start running it. And like I, as I'm going here, I'm pulling up just to give a little bit of space to redisperse that that grinding compound. And I'll run it back and forth a few times. Sometimes it's a little bit of a pain to get centered. And one of the things you'll note as you're doing this, when I first started with Fresh Compound, you could hear the grit working. You could hear the audible sound of it, of it working really well. And as you go, it works finer and finer and finer. And I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but it becomes less noticeable. It, it has a very metallic grinding sound and then it softens up. It's like when you change from a coarse grit sandpaper to a finer grit sandpaper. I 
I've already done this a couple times, but this is just to illustrate exactly how I'm going about doing it. And I'll take that out and I'll clean that compound off because I want to check my surface to see if I've worn down that spot. <clears throat> it's definitely looking better. I'm starting to get down into it. That shine is not quite as prevalent as before. But anyway, so like I said, this is my cheap hand valve job that I'm doing here. If you got any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them, leave them down at the bottom. And just as a comparison also, <clears throat> if I didn't mention this, you can see the nice dull finish after I'm done. And this is one that I haven't done. It's still pretty shiny down here on the exhaust too. This one is not done. This one is done. So that way you have a reference of what they should look like afterwards. And what you're looking for is just a nice even finish all the way around here. You want to try and get rid of any shiny spots because that indicates a, a low area that's not going to seal. I still got a little bit of ways, little ways to go on this guy, but you can see how the rest of it's got that nice, more dull finish. And then I got that one little shiny spot. It's coming out. So yeah, that's what I got for now. And my goal is to try and get these done over the weekend. I got my valve spring kit from Diabolical Racing. I'll uh, post another video with that as I'm installing the springs and I will be showing you how to do installed height for valve springs. Uh, one of the really cool things that uh, Russ did for me, let me see if I can show you real quick. Really impressed with his packaging. <clears throat> so he actually separated my intake and, ex and exhaust valves and he put here, as you can see, his prescribed installed height. And this is after I gave him all the information about my camshaft and what lifters I'm using and what the purpose of the engine is. So these are tailored, if you will, for my application. And this installed height will give me the prescribed uh, load weight or pressure on the valve closed. And uh, with the lift of my cam, uh, it will shimming it to this height will provide the needed uh, open pressure. And he included shims and locks and retainers and all this. I requested that. I, I asked him to send me a complete kit. So uh, when you talk to him, if that's something you want, you need to make sure that I'm not positive, but I think if you just get the valve spring kit, I think it's just the springs, retainers, and locks. Uh, I went ahead and ordered the extra shims and seals. But you can talk to him and he'll set you up. But I just thought he did a really good job here. I mean, the exhaust uh, package is labeled the same, just an exhaust valve with the prescribed installed height for those as well. And again, in my next video when I start installing those, I'll show you how I do that. Hope everyone has a good day and a happy new year. Take care.